So what is the structure and function of the integumentary system? Well, the integumentary system is basically made up of your skin, your fingernails, and your hair. And for the purposes of this video, we're going to go through the structure and function of the skin. You can check out fingernails and hair in another video. So the skin has four major functions. One, it helps with the excretion of water, salts, and urea. Two, it regulates temperature. Three, it um, produces vitamin D, um, which helps with calcium absorption, which is, of course, important for nerve function, muscle function as well. And four, skin is an important sensory organ. It helps us relay signals to the brain about our surroundings. So what is skin made of? Well, four types of tissue. One is called epithelial tissue. It also contains nerve tissue, muscle tissue that enables movement, and connective tissue for protection. Skin can be broken down into several layers, including the epidermis, the dermis, and the hypodermis, sometimes called the subcutaneous layer. The epidermis is a thin outer layer of cells on the surface of skin, most of which are dead. This layer contains a protein called keratin. Keratin waterproofs and protects the cells and tissues underneath, and it is shed often. The inner layer of the ep epidermis also produces a protein, or sorry, a pigment called melanin. And melanin protects the inner layers from the damaging effects of the UV rays from the sun. The dermis, moving on, is sort of the middle layer of the skin. It's a much thicker layer. This layer consists of sweat glands, hair follicles, nerves, and blood vessels. And finally, the hypodermis, the most innermost layer of the skin, also called the subcutaneous layer, consists of connective tissue that stores fat and insulates the body from the cold. So what's the purpose of fingernails and hair? Check out our other videos to find out.